Hello there YouTube, welcome to part 5 of my little uh, tutorial series on how to use Unraid and Zen in ha perfect harmony. Um, okay, so what we want to do now is actually um, set up Sys Linux, which is the uh, the bootloader, uh, which I don't know, let's see, let me see if I can find a, an image of it just so that you know what it looks like uh, real quick. Uh, no, I can't. Yes, I can. There we go. That that thing. It looks like this. Um, what we're trying to do is make it so as that every time you boot Unraid, it defaults to the Zen kernel um, instead of the default Unraid kernel, which doesn't have the Zen stuff enabled. So we need to connect to the flash drive um, in your Unraid um, CD boot, whatever, however you want to get there on uh, console. But I'll just do it this way. Uh, and then in the syslinux directory, you have this file here, the syslinux.config. Um, and you want to open it with a text editor that doesn't add any silent characters. So I use Coder on the Mac. Uh, you could use Notepad++ on Windows or Text Wrangler on the Mac. Or There's hundreds. Um, this little line here is what sets the default. So all we're going to do is simply move this from here to here. Save it. And that's it. That's all we need to do. The 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 Unraid is now going to boot with the Zen hypervisor enabled. Um, if you ever wanted to add any extra flags, like if you're doing PCI pass through, this is where you would do it, this line here. And uh, I'll cover that in another another video later on. Um, but yeah that's how you set Unraid to boot with Zen by default. Cheers.